know, tonight, some of you might be, be thinking, you know, I've tried that. I've tried following Jesus. I've tried to read my Bible. I've gotten into a habit of prayer and then I fall out of it again. I've even tried to stop sinning and doing the things that I know I shouldn't do. You know, I've tried to stop drinking. I've tried to stop crossing that line with my boyfriend or my girlfriend. But I keep going into the same things and being about the same things over and over again. Tonight, real quick, we're gonna talk about this thing called our world view. All of us have something at the center of our lives. And for most of us, uh, this center never changes. You know, for a lot of people, they have the same exact worldview because it's the same worldview that we're born with. Here, I'm gonna show you what it looks like for our worldview. It begins with the center of our lives, which is me. You know, for all of us when we're born, we are the most important thing in our lives. And everything that we do is a reflection of me. Me is the focus, me first. And then as we go on from our me, what happens next is our values. That's what defines what's important to us. The things that we think this is the most important things in life. And so if at the center of our lives, if the center is me, the things that I'm gonna believe in, the things that I'm gonna think are important are gonna be an extension of myself. And then from there, our values reflect our behavior. You see, we behave based on our values. If we're at the center of our lives, it makes us ask questions like this. How does this affect me? Well, what about me? Well, how does this make me feel? And this is the way that most people see the world. This is the way that they interpret all of their decisions because they're right at the center. And most people, they never grow out of this worldview. When Jesus was talking to Levi and the rich young ruler, he was trying so hard to help them understand this, to wrap their minds around this idea, you know, to get beyond the me-centered and to center on something else. You know, he wanted their lives to be more than just, what about me? Or how does this make me feel? And instead, come and follow me, putting Jesus at the center so that their lives would represent something way bigger than themselves. And then when we put Jesus at the center of our lives, our values and our behaviors will naturally follow that. You know, instead of asking, how does this affect me? We begin to ask, what does Jesus think about this? We begin to ask, how can I help others? How can Jesus use me to make a difference in other people's lives? Levi made a choice to put Jesus at the center of his life and to follow him. Less me-centered, more Jesus-centered. You know, fun fact, Levi actually had two names. There was Levi and Matthew. Huh? Light bulb going off for some of you. Matthew is a, a big deal in the Bible. He was one of Jesus' closest friends. And in fact, he, he wrote a book of the Bible. And the reason why Matthew was able to impact so many people, and make such a difference, is because he put Jesus at the center. In fact, he was a martyr, which means he died representing Jesus. You see, we forget about the rich young ruler. The only time that we hear about him is that, that one story in the Bible. It's because he was me-centered. But Levi made a choice to put Jesus at the center, and his life was so much more awesome because he did that.